Now I want to demonstrate the uh, six Kavagal blocks. These blocks are very interesting because it covers every strike that goes around your body, not the straight ones. The straight ones we can parry, uh, but every strike, like they're striking to your head. Uh, I'll have uh, Chris come forward and I'll demonstrate this. So, so Charles, you're going to uh, uh, first, uh, Chris, you demonstrate the, the six blocks. One is you cross your hands on top of your head. Two is temple. Three is jaw. Four is ribs. Five is thigh. And six is groin. So you have to memorize. You have to memorize the numbers with the the actual actions. So one will always be uh, crossing your hand on top of your head, and six will be the, the groin protection. So I'll uh, I'll call the numbers, and I'll have Chris just go through that so you can even see how it works. So okay, and and when when you're yeah, your hands should be up here by your chest, ready to go. Okay, one, okay, and. You have to call it off at home. You have to say one also so you memorize it. Two, temple. Two. Three. Three. Four ribs. Four. Five, five. Five. And six, groin. Six. Okay, once again. Okay, <coughs> all right. One. One. Two, temple. Two. Three. Jump. Three. Four ribs. Four. Five, five. <coughs> five. And six, groin. Six. That way you're very good. That's the pattern. And you can see why it's simple, because if you analyze it, it's nothing but a circle. It's working like this here. And and when I uh, trained with Chuck Norris a long time ago, we learned all those blocks, but they were karate blocks. Like if a punch came around, we had the, the outside block, we had the inside block, we had the down block this way here, and, and the cross block. But the uh, thing is, it's very good, but it takes time. Here, within 10 minutes, you can have all the blocks that go around your body. It, uh, we had to learn one at a time on this side, one at a time on that side. It was a little bit cumbersome, but that doesn't take anything away because those guys are great. And so you see the old masters of karate, Korean karate, uh, Japanese, Chinese, they are tough. They are tough people. But this simplifies it for us to defend against all strikes coming around around the body. So uh, once again, I'll have Chris. Uh, I'll have the uh, Charles. You're going to attack him. Okay, so you see what we're doing. The one defends uh, there. Okay, good. Yeah. Two is a temple shot. Three is a jaw shot. Four is a rib shot. Five is kicking to the thigh. And six is right up the middle. Okay, okay good, thank you. The interesting thing about this particular series that I heard the story where uh, this was Way back in 1949 or someplace, when the uh, Jewish people got together in uh, Jerusalem, they were scattered all around the world for hundreds, maybe a thousand years. And the president of uh, uh, the Jerusalem said to the uh, one of his top generals, he said, "You know, every country has a martial art, but we don't have one. And, and so, uh, like Japan has karate, judo." Aikido, uh, China has Tai Chi, uh, Thailand has their Thai boxing, but we don't have any self-defense. So for four years, we'll give you enough money. You go around the world and you train and you find uh, techniques that are applicable, but they have to work for every man, woman in China here in Israel. Uh, so don't, don't go to China and learn these Bruce Lee techniques where you jump 15 feet up in the air and you kick in seven directions and come down is my 85 year old grandmother can't do that. Okay? And, and so uh, don't, don't teach these hard blocks, which are beautiful uh, against kicks and whatever, because my little niece who's five can't do that. So if, if it doesn't fit within the parameters of every man, woman, and child being able to do it, then you have to get rid of it. And so he went around the world for four years. He saw the Thai boxers. He liked the, uh, the elbows uh, and, and he liked the, uh, the kicks. He's, my grandmother can do that. Uh, so he, he picked out the simple ones, but then he came up with that form of blocking that you just saw right now, uh, the, the six blocks, this way here. And when he came back, after four years, he was gonna test it. So he went out to the playground, he got some newspapers, wadded it up like a baseball bat, made it real hard. Then he said, uh, he found a little guy, come here, Johnny. And Johnny says, uh-huh. I said, well, see what I have in my hand? And he goes, uh-huh. He says, you know what I'm gonna do with it? No, bang, you hit him on the head. And the kid's screaming, he says, 
I'm gonna hit you again. You better defend against it. And he goes, no, 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 that's, oh look, he's crossing his arms. I didn't have to teach him that, but that's the first one. And they said, okay, now I'm gonna slap you across the face. He goes, huh? I said, I'm gonna slap you back and forth. He goes, no, no. He did that, oh look, that's number three. He knows how to defend against that. And they said, okay, okay. I'm gonna kick you in the groin. He goes, huh? I said, I'm gonna kick you. You better block it, huh? <laughs> he went like that, and the little kid went, no. He did that. He said, oh, look, he crossed his arms. So his feeling was that kids know how to defend themselves. Uh, they just forgot, but they do what's natural. And these moves are easy because they're natural. They're natural moves. They're, they're not uh, hard, uh, uh, rigid techniques. There's something you can do. It's that. So the uh, the common ground blocks are very effective for all strikes going around the body. This one here. And that's the history.